Welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today, my dear friends, we will talk about the importance of emergency build sections. And we will see some aspects around this so easy, seems to be task, but sometimes you can be involved in really, really bad situations. First of all, also, I like to inform you that I have a new membership on the channel. And if you like to join there, I believe it's really, really important to check that videos also for your knowledge. I will make a library there, which will be only for the Adventure Story Academy membership. And you can go there and pick up that membership so you will be more informed about that kind of uh, topics and there is a lot of tips more to share uh, the tips never never stop we always try to improve as much as possible ourselves and not only so today as you have seen the main topic is our emergency build suction it's really really important it seems to be so easy but i have seen in my experience a lot of things on such valves i have seen valves stuck and even we cannot open these valves by f key even i put a pipe so much long about two meters and nothing really happened and that vessel was a passenger vessel which is really really dangerous because it carries a lot of people a lot of lives about 1000 or 2000 lives maybe so i have seen such things but i like to tell you my dear friends that everybody must give attention to that one because what can happen a engineer or a crew can join a vessel which have in bad condition this emergency valves and let's say in uh, one week after they join they have this kind of problem they have a leak or uh, there is a seawater coming inside in the engine room and they need to pump out and at that moment they run to do such job and they there is not available valves uh, that, that are working and there is not pumps that can be suctioned this kind of water what will happen probably the engine room will be totally floated by sea water and there is a damage for the equipment and for the machineries first of all the vessel uh, 90 percent will be stay afloat if uh, the stability will not be affected it depends how much quantity of water will be entered and what angle the vessel will take and also depends from the weather conditions in that moment most of these chain reactions happen together simultaneously and that is a really really bad situation for such crew and they will be involved in such dangerous situation that's why we will talk today on that kind of a uh, topic which is one of the most important uh, items on board whatever is emergency must be really really carefully checked and reported as much as properly uh, my opinion is that companies should change uh, the procedures for such kind of equipment because uh, there is a lack of maintenance and checking uh, if this equipment is in good uh, order and first of all and first opportunity must be given in such equipment so here we can see a valve which is the emergency suction valve of engine room and this kind of valve this is a really really massive valve which is locked here by a plastic chain and my opinion is that 
some kind of this plastic chain can be really really difficult to break and also the seals must be much much smaller so give attention and check in your ship also that this link it will be easy to break down will not be a metallic chain or something else as much as possible everything here can be broke and fast to operate the valve all the valves must be operated at least every six months to be also uh, greased for the surfaces for the shaft itself must be operated and must be verified that the valves can freely uh, close and open position so this is the seal here this is a good seal here and seals must be available on board all the time and here how it looks like the valves uh, bridge here the spindle which we set some kind of grease here around and everything must be recorded okay here i had a notebook together with me to write the valves the position the name and also i have a diagram with me to check this kind of uh, the valves the location of them so you must check all of them to be easy operated as much as possible so you will not lose the time at that moment when you need this kind of valves as we can see here this is bilge water suction from bilge holding tank to bilge fresh water generator uh, no one moment bilge fire pump and general service suction correct suction yes yeah, something like that. also this must be checked everything this vessel had suction of bilge coding with uh, fire pump for some kind of uh, case that they have studied uh, in the universities and they add it as a system here we have bilge water to number one bilge fire general service pump suction and everything must be recorded and reported whatever is not working must be direct reported to the office and rectified as much as possible this kind of seals it's really really uh, hard to break some of them and another thing that we need to take in uh, action and to speak up with the crew when they attend first time on the vessel because some of the crew they can be new or they can be uh, not aware about this kind of uh, valves so everybody must know where is located what is the purpose how properly to use these valves and how to operate the system there must be some kind of training because at the moment that something happened and maybe second engineer will fall down and hit somewhere or will not be in place or chief engineer will be somewhere else somebody must do something to protect as much as possible the vessel and then the life of everybody on board so not only second engineer and chief engineer must know this kind of operation and where these valves located sometimes there is chief engineers that even don't know where is these valves this is uh, also a very very bad thing 
Uh, that's why everything must be start uh, from the head department and head department to give uh, the proper uh, directions of the crew and how properly maintain all the systems and how to keep up them ready for use uh, always in all times but not hiding the stack valves or even do not know where is that valves even if there is a good condition or not uh, this is a really really important thing uh, okay for today i believe this is enough we can see also some uh, fire pump here this is number two fire pump in general service and this says in case of emergency break the plastic chain by turning valve wheel okay this is not so necessary poster in emergency case the engineer should know which valve to open okay and says that do not operate without the valve without the chief engineer's permission So another view, this is the emergency suction. We have some instructions, start the pump, if not already running, open the valve. This is the valve, BG031, uh, and close the CW015. Probably this is the seawater suction of the pump. So by opening this valve, and closing uh, the cooling water inlet valve, the suction valve, the water will be suctioned from emergency uh, bilge. And also the bilges must be kept clear because whatever this pump will suction from here and will pass through the system will pass also from uh, the central coolers, everything, because this pump sends to central coolers directly so maybe there is a bypass valve on the central coolers if it's such but i don't believe that this kind of uh, system has this kind of uh, solution and also one inspector i remember that he tell us that first of all if the engine room let's say it's flood until here somewhere okay it's below the pump level for sure let's say about the casing the pump casing level about here okay we have water we have a lot of water in the engine room and we need to suction with this kind of system this inspector explained us that first of all we need to close this valve here this must be closed and we need to close the suction valve so the pump start to make vacuum and then open this kind of uh, emergency valve uh, another thing that we can do is to start closing the suction valve of uh, this pump of number two pump which is the emergency uh, suction pump here on uh, our case and uh, ah, number one is see what it's here on the left on the left so we start to close the suction valve of uh, this number one seawater pump and then slowly we see that the vacuum coming drops down and then in that moment we can open the bilge the emergency bilge suction okay here it's not stated by the instructions probably uh, and with my experience also that i have uh, this inspector it's correct because they make also a lot of trainings they have seen a lot of uh, accidents and troubleshooting and we will get that as a good uh, theoretical uh, learning 
Thank you for everybody who participate here in this video. Don't forget to check the new membership. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to stay tuned and your thumbs always on the top. Bye bye.